Chapter 1. The Unexpected Storm The sun blazed brightly in the clear blue sky as a group of five adventurous friends set sail on their much-anticipated vacation. Alex, Sarah, Jack, Emily, and Mike had been planning this trip for months, eager to explore the exotic beauty of a remote tropical island. Little did they know that their journey would soon take an unexpected turn. As their boat gracefully glided through the crystal-clear waters, the friends reveled in the breathtaking scenery. The air was thick with excitement and anticipation, with laughter and chatter filling the air. They were blissfully unaware of the storm brewing on the horizon. Dark clouds began to gather, slowly engulfing the once blue sky. A sudden drop in temperature and the eerie stillness in the air alerted them that something was amiss. Sensing danger, the experienced captain decided to steer the boat back towards the mainland. But it was too late. The storm unleashed its fury with a vengeance, lashing out at the small vessel. Massive waves crashed against the sides, rocking it violently. The wind howled, ripping the sails apart as if they were mere shreds of paper. Panic engulfed the group as they clung to the sides, desperately praying for their safety. A deafening crack echoed through the air as lightning struck the mast, splintering it in two. The boat shuddered violently, and the friends were thrown overboard, plunging into the raging sea. Struggling against the ferocious current, they desperately tried to keep their heads above water. After what felt like an eternity, the storm finally subsided, leaving behind a battered and broken boat. Exhausted and disoriented, the friends managed to swim towards the only visible sign of land. A small, uninhabited island that seemed to have emerged from the depths of the ocean. As they stumbled onto the shore, their clothes drenched and bodies battered, a mixture of relief and fear washed over them. They were stranded on an unfamiliar island with no means of communication or rescue. The once thriving paradise they had hoped to explore had become their desolate prison. With the sun beginning its descent, the group huddled together, their minds racing with thoughts of survival. They knew that they had to remain calm and think clearly. Though fear gnawed at their hearts, they drew strength from their friendship and the unwavering determination to endure. As they scanned their surroundings, they realized the island held both promise and danger. The dense foliage concealed secrets, and the sounds of unfamiliar creatures echoed through the air. It was clear that they would have to rely on their wits and skills to navigate the challenges that lay ahead. With a newfound sense of purpose, they set off to explore the island, hoping to find sources of food, water, and shelter. Their adventure had taken an unexpected turn, but they were determined to face it head on. As they delved deeper into the unknown, the friends clung to the hope that their bond and resourcefulness would be enough to survive the island's challenges. Little did they know that their journey was about to test their limits, pushing them to discover strengths they never knew they possessed. The island adventure had begun, and they were ready to face whatever lay ahead, united in their quest for survival. Chapter 2. Seeking Shelter and Nourishment As the sun rose on the second day of their island ordeal, the group of friends awoke to the harsh reality of their situation. Their bodies ached from the previous day's struggle, and their stomachs growled with hunger. They knew that finding shelter and nourishment would be their top priorities. Exploring the island further, they came across a dense thicket of palm trees. Recognizing the potential of these trees, they carefully gathered fallen coconuts from the ground. Using rocks they found nearby, they cracked open the coconuts to access the refreshing coconut water and the nutritious meat inside. Savoring their meager meal, they felt a glimmer of hope that they could sustain themselves, at least for a little while. Their next task was to find suitable shelter. Sarah, with her keen eye for detail, spotted a cave nestled amidst a cluster of rocks. Excitedly, the group made their way towards it, hoping it would provide protection from the elements and a sense of security. The cave's mouth was wide enough for them to enter, and they were relieved to find it dry and spacious. Inside the cave, they used fallen branches and leaves to fashion crude bedding. Though far from luxurious, it offered some comfort and a respite from the elements. They knew that they would need to make the cave their temporary home until they could devise a plan for rescue or escape. With their immediate needs somewhat addressed, the group turned their attention to other essential aspects of survival. Mike, the group's resourceful outdoorsman, set out to scout for potential sources of fresh water. After a thorough search, he stumbled upon a small freshwater spring gushing from a rocky crevice. Eagerly, he filled their makeshift containers with the precious liquid. 
The discovery of the freshwater source alleviated their worries about dehydration and provided a glimmer of hope for their survival. As the days turned into weeks, the friends established a routine on the island. They would take turns exploring the surrounding area, searching for food, and attempting to find any sign of civilization. They learned to adapt to their new environment, observing the habits of native wildlife and identifying edible plants and fruits. One day, while Jack was foraging near the shoreline, he noticed a peculiar pattern of disturbed sand. Intrigued, he dug deeper and uncovered a nest of turtle eggs buried just below the surface. Realizing the value of this discovery, Jack carefully gathered the eggs and brought them back to the group. With careful planning, they decided to consume only a portion of the eggs, leaving the rest to incubate and potentially replenish their food source in the future. As time went on, the friends became more proficient in their survival skills. They constructed fishing traps using sticks and vines, eagerly awaiting their catches each day. They also fashioned makeshift spears for hunting small game, using their collective knowledge and trial and error to improve their chances of success. With each passing day, their resilience grew stronger. They celebrated every small victory, a successful catch, a new plant they identified as edible, or a fire they managed to kindle. They took solace in each other's company, finding strength and comfort in their friendship. As they settled into their routine, the friends began to consider the long-term implications of their situation. They knew that rescue might not come for weeks, months, or even longer. They started discussing the possibility of building a more permanent shelter, honing their survival skills, and devising strategies for signal fires and other methods of attracting attention. Their days were filled with a delicate balance of survival and hope. While the island remained their prison, it also became their teacher, revealing their inner strength and resilience. As the weeks turned into months, the friends found Chapter 3. Unveiling Mysteries Months had passed since the group of friends found themselves stranded on the deserted island. They had grown accustomed to the ebb and flow of their daily survival routines, but a sense of curiosity and the desire for exploration still burned within them. It was time to unveil the mysteries that lay hidden on the island. Driven by their relentless spirit, the friends set out on a quest to uncover the secrets of their newfound home. They ventured beyond their familiar surroundings, venturing deeper into the heart of the island. As they trekked through dense forests and traversed rocky terrain, they discovered signs of an ancient civilization. In a secluded clearing, they stumbled upon a series of weathered stone structures, the remnants of what appeared to be an ancient village, now swallowed by nature's embrace. Excitement coursed through their veins as they marveled at the intricate stonework and imagined the lives of those who had once inhabited these now abandoned structures. Among the ruins, they found fragments of pottery, ornate carvings, and relics that hinted at a rich cultural history. They carefully collected these artifacts, treating them as treasures that held stories of the past. Each discovery fueled their curiosity and deepened their connection to the island. Exploring further, they came across a hidden cavern concealed by thick vines and foliage. Intrigued, they cautiously entered, their hearts pounding with anticipation. The air inside was cool and musty, and the flickering light of their torches danced on the damp walls, revealing ancient cave paintings. The vibrant paintings depicted scenes of hunting, rituals, and communal gatherings, offering glimpses into the lives of the island's early inhabitants. The friends traced their fingers along the rough surfaces, mesmerized by the connection they felt with these ancient artists. As they delved deeper into the cavern, they discovered a small pool of crystal-clear water, the tranquil oasis was surrounded by stalactites that glistened like diamonds, and a hushed silence seemed to fill the space. Overwhelmed by the beauty and serenity of this hidden sanctuary, they sat by the pool, finding solace and a momentary escape from the harsh realities of their survival. Their explorations didn't stop at the ruins and caverns. They climbed towering cliffs, navigating treacherous paths to reach the island's highest peaks. From there, they marveled at the breathtaking panoramic views that stretched as far as the eye could see. The island's pristine beaches, lush forests, and azure waters painted a picture of untouched paradise. Yet, amidst the awe-inspiring beauty, they remained aware of the challenges that lay ahead. The island had become their home, but they yearned for freedom and the familiarity of their previous lives. They realized that their survival was not only physical, but also mental and emotional. They leaned on each other for support, sharing dreams of rescue and plans for a future beyond the island's shores. 
As time passed, their understanding of the island grew deeper. They recognized the rhythms of its flora and fauna, identifying safe havens and potential dangers. They became skilled in predicting weather patterns, using their knowledge to protect themselves from unpredictable storms. The island had become their teacher, offering valuable lessons in resilience, adaptability, and self-discovery. With each adventure, their bond as friends strengthened. They faced challenges together, celebrated triumphs, and consoled each other during moments of despair. They discovered new facets of their personalities and witnessed the growth of their own inner strength. As they journeyed through the island's mysteries, the friends realized that their time on this seemingly deserted paradise had transformed them. They had become more attuned to nature, more appreciative of life's simple pleasures, and more connected to their own capabilities. The island had become. Chapter 4 Trials and Tribulations The island had become both a sanctuary and a test of endurance for the group of friends. They had adapted to the challenges of survival, but the relentless nature of their situation continued to push them to their limits. Chapter 4 of their island adventure would bring forth new trials and tribulations. One morning, as they ventured further inland in search of additional resources, they stumbled upon a swift-moving river. Its roaring waters blocked their path, presenting a formidable obstacle. Determined to overcome it, they assessed the situation and devised a plan. Using their combined strength and resourcefulness, they gathered sturdy branches and vines, fashioning a makeshift raft. With careful maneuvering, they managed to cross the river, though the process proved more treacherous than they had anticipated. They celebrated their success, but the challenge had left them physically exhausted and mentally drained. Their journey continued, leading them to a dense thicket filled with thorny bushes and entangled vines. Desperate for nourishment, they spotted clusters of wild berries growing within the thicket. Despite the prickly barrier, they braved the thorns, carefully gathering the ripe berries. Their hands scratched and bloodied, they paid the price for sustenance, a reminder of the hardships they faced. Days turned into weeks, and the friends encountered another formidable trial, the relentless heat of the island. With limited shade and no respite from the scorching sun, they struggled to stay cool and hydrated. Every movement felt sluggish, and fatigue settled in their bones. They realized the importance of conserving energy and seeking shelter during the hottest hours of the day. Driven by their unwavering spirit, they devised a solution. Using large leaves and branches, they constructed rudimentary shelters that provided shade and a reprieve from the sun's blistering rays. It was a small victory, but it offered them a glimpse of relief in the midst of their challenging circumstances. However, their resilience was tested once again when a powerful tropical storm struck the island. The winds howled, rain poured relentlessly, and thunder rattled the ground beneath them. Their shelter proved insufficient, and they sought refuge in a nearby cave, seeking protection from the raging elements. Cowering together, they clung to each other for comfort, hoping the storm would pass quickly. After a grueling night, the storm finally subsided, leaving behind a path of destruction. Their temporary shelter lay in ruins, and the island was transformed, its landscape altered by the fury of nature. They knew they had to rebuild and fortify their living quarters to withstand future storms. Using the remnants of their shelter and fallen branches, they constructed a sturdier structure. They reinforced it with rocks and vegetation, determined to create a safe haven that could withstand the island's harsh weather. The process tested their patience and resilience, but it also brought them closer as they worked as a cohesive unit. Amidst the trials and tribulations, they discovered pockets of joy and wonder. They marveled at the island's bioluminescent creatures that lit up the night, casting an ethereal glow on the surroundings. They laughed and shared stories around their campfire, finding solace and a sense of normalcy in each other's company. As time passed, their survival skills sharpened. They honed their ability to navigate the island's treacherous terrain, avoiding pitfalls and identifying edible plants with greater precision. They developed a keen eye for spotting potential sources of food and water, making the most of the island's bounties. Through the hardships, the friends found strength they never knew they possessed. They embraced the island as their temporary home, adapting to its demands and growing more resilient with each passing day. The challenges they faced served as reminders of their determination. Chapter 5. Hope on the Horizon After enduring countless trials and tribulations, the group of friends found themselves entering a new phase of their island adventure. 
Chapter 5 brought with it a glimmer of hope and the possibility of rescue. One sunny morning, as they scanned the horizon for any signs of passing ships or aircraft, their hearts skipped a beat. In the distance they spotted a small dot on the shimmering blue sea. It was a vessel, an opportunity to escape their deserted island and return to civilization. Excitement surged through their veins, and they hastily devised a plan to attract the attention of the approaching ship. They gathered dry driftwood and constructed a large signal fire on the highest point of the island. The flames danced and crackled, billowing thick smoke into the sky. They added green foliage to create an intense contrast, hoping it would catch the attention of those on board. Hours turned into an agonizing wait as they watched the ship draw closer. Doubt and anxiety threatened to consume them, but they clung to the flicker of hope burning within their hearts. Finally, the ship altered its course, heading straight for their isolated island. With hearts pounding and anticipation coursing through their veins, they raced to the shoreline, frantically waving their arms and shouting for help. The ship's crew noticed their desperate pleas, and moments later, a small rescue boat was dispatched to bring them to safety. Emotions overwhelmed them as they stepped onto the rescue boat, leaving behind the island that had become their home, their sanctuary, and their crucible. They exchanged tearful goodbyes, expressing gratitude for the strength and support they had found in each other during their arduous journey. On board the rescue vessel, they were greeted with warmth and care. The crew provided them with fresh clothes, food, and water, nursing their weary bodies and offering comfort after their long ordeal. The group of friends marveled at the taste of a warm meal, the comfort of a soft bed, and the reassurance that they were no longer alone. During their voyage back to civilization, the friends shared their incredible story with the ship's crew, recounting the challenges they had faced and the lessons they had learned. They marveled at the resilience of the human spirit and the power of friendship in the face of adversity. Arriving back in familiar territory, the friends were met with a mix of emotions, relief, gratitude, and a profound appreciation for the simple joys of everyday life. They reconnected with their families and friends, embracing them tightly and cherishing their presence. Their island adventure had changed them in profound ways. They carried with them a newfound resilience, a deep appreciation for the bounties of civilization, and a lasting bond forged through shared hardship. They recognized the fragility of life and the importance of treasuring every moment. In the months that followed, the friends reflected on their island experience. They shared their story with others, inspiring them with tales of courage and survival. They became advocates for the preservation of nature and the importance of preparedness in unforeseen circumstances. The island adventure had come to an end, but its impact endured. They carried the memories, the lessons, and the unbreakable bond within their hearts. They knew that their island odyssey would forever be etched in their minds as a testament to their resilience, strength, and unwavering spirit. As they moved forward, they carried the island's legacy, always mindful of the lessons learned and grateful for the second chance they had been given. Their extraordinary tale served as a reminder to embrace the beauty of life, to cherish the bonds of friendship, and to never lose hope, no matter how dire the circumstances may seem. Chapter 6. A New Beginning In the aftermath of their island adventure, the group of friends embarked on a journey of reflection, growth, and a renewed zest for life. Chapter 6 marked the beginning of a new chapter in their lives, one where they would carry the island's lessons with them and embrace the possibilities that lay ahead. The friends found solace in sharing their experiences with others. They became sought-after speakers, captivating audiences with their tale of survival and resilience. Their story inspired countless individuals to face their own challenges head-on, to find strength within themselves, and to appreciate the beauty of life's simplest moments. Motivated by their island odyssey, they embraced a newfound passion for adventure and exploration. They sought out new landscapes, scaled towering mountains, and immersed themselves in unfamiliar cultures. The memories of their time on the island served as a reminder that life's greatest rewards often lie just beyond the boundaries of comfort. Driven by a desire to give back, the friends established a foundation dedicated to environmental conservation and disaster preparedness. They worked tirelessly to raise awareness, funding, and resources to protect fragile ecosystems and to ensure that others would be better equipped to face unexpected challenges. Individually, they pursued their dreams and aspirations, propelled by the resilience they had cultivated on the island. Sarah, 
with her keen eye for detail, found success as a nature photographer, capturing the raw beauty of untouched landscapes and raising awareness of the need for their preservation. Mike, the resourceful outdoorsman, became an influential figure in the field of survival training. He used his expertise to educate others on essential survival skills, empowering them to be prepared for unforeseen circumstances. His teachings reached far and wide, equipping individuals with the tools to navigate the unpredictable twists of life. Jack, with his sense of adventure and curiosity, became an acclaimed writer. He penned a best-selling memoir detailing their island adventure, weaving together the harrowing moments and the profound lessons learned. His words resonated with readers around the world, reminding them of the strength that lies within each of us. Emily, the compassionate soul of the group, dedicated herself to humanitarian work. She traveled to regions affected by natural disasters, lending her expertise in disaster relief and lending a helping hand to those in need. Her experiences on the island had ignited a passion for assisting communities in rebuilding their lives. As the years passed, the group of friends remained closely connected. They continued to embark on new adventures together, always seeking the thrill of exploration and the camaraderie that bound them. Their bond, forged through shared hardship, only grew stronger with time. But amidst their individual pursuits, they never forgot the island that had forever changed their lives. They returned to it, not as stranded castaways, but as humble visitors. They witnessed the resilience of nature, the regrowth of vegetation, and the vibrant ecosystem that had sustained them during their time of need. They established a sustainable research center on the island, a place where scientists and environmentalists could study its unique biodiversity. The center served as a testament to their gratitude for the island's role in their journey, and as a commitment to its preservation for future generations. And so, as they stood on the shores of the island that had once been their prison, they marveled at the cycle of life and the transformative power of their experience. The island had given them life lessons, tested their limits, and unveiled their true strength. They took a final moment to reflect on their remarkable journey. From the desperation of survival to the triumph of rescue, they had embraced the challenges and emerged stronger, wiser, and filled with gratitude for the gift of life. With a renewed sense of purpose and an unbreakable bond, they turned their gaze to the horizon. There, they saw a world brimming with possibilities, a world they, 